Chica's having a rough day. Let's be honest. Chica's just as confused about this maze as we are. Hey guys, and welcome to GT Live, where we are back breaching security with Five Nights at Freddy's. Uh, last time, in case you missed it, we, it was a longer episode. It spanned two days as I got lost in the middle of it, but we made a lot of progress. We got through Monty's Golf, we got ourselves a camera, we got, uh, we visited Chica's Mazer Size, which is like exercise in a maze while you're eating, which makes a whole lot of sense. I got a lot of meaningless collectibles that ultimately amount to nothing, I'm assuming, but help me feel better as a completionist. We also learned a lot of important things, like Matt is the worst. <laughs> he, he does not like, like he does not like laser tag. Okay. He does not like mazes. All right, all this. All this Neither thing. hay nor corn. <laughs> so mazes of no type, unless they're paper, pencil Ma and paper. Mazes and laser tag are bad, and and you're not going to convince me otherwise. Ah. Uh, and and it, I will say, I guess laser tag is a, a subset of mazes because laser tag happens in a maze. Mm. It's just like a neon maze. It's just too much exercise. For... You've had your piece. Okay, you can you can say what it's too much exercise for the amount of fun that you're no, getting out of it. No, I've I've said enough apparently. It's too much exercise. No, I'm too... You, you feeling good? You can figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> but we did learn that he likes go karting, so hopefully we find. I, I at this point in the game, I don't know if we can actually play the. This whole time, I've been expecting that we're gonna play mini games in here. I don't know if we're actually gonna play any mini games. Like, are we actually gonna mini golf? Are we actually gonna race against Roxy? When it, they showed all this stuff in the trailers, I'm like, oh, we're totally going to do all this. And now I'm I'm not sure anymore. Um, so on one hand, I'm like, hopefully you get to Roxanne's Raceway. But on the other hand, it's been, like, under construction. So I don't know if we actually go there. I, who knows? Who knows what mysteries lie in store for us as we continue Security Breach? All I know is that we're going to make a lot of progress today because, darn it, I am determined to make forward progress in this game. And we're going to crush it, and we're going to catch up with everyone. We're not going to catch up with everyone's already done with this game like a week ago. Within 48 hours, this game was beaten, ripped to shreds, and I'm sure all the endings are up there. I'm trying to stay blind to it as long as possible, although I do know that I need to start working on a theory ASAP. I saw on the subreddit that already there are memes of people being like, waiting for Matt Pat's FNAF theory, like, you know, and long, like turning into a skeleton kind of meme. It's like, it, the game came out! <laughs> like, three days ago! Four days- what?! Waiting for Mad Pat's theory, like, uh, it takes at least a week, at least a week to put the, the, the theory together, so even if I was done with it- And the other thing too is like, these, this game is huge, there's so much stuff hidden in every corner, and there's so many endings and secret endings and, and things like that, because I haven't seen them, but I know that they exist, because I've seen Docco like, secret ending, and I've seen Fusion Z Gamer being like, unlocking the hidden te security 10 rooms, and I'm like, I'm curious about this, I want to find out, and again, if I'm doing a complete theory, or at least a partial theory, I need to have at least some semblance of an idea of where this whole thing's headed, and what questions are answered versus not by the end. Uh, but yeah, I saw that on the subreddit last night, and I'm like, what?! I, I, I appreciate your faith in me, I guess? And trust me, I wish that I could get it out that fast, because then I would be part of the trend, but oh no, friends, we are like three weeks late to the trend. Um, so anyway, that's that's coming. Today we're going to make a lot of progress. Uh, real quick reminder here at the top of the episode that uh, both uh, Theory Wear, like you see me wearing, as well as FNAF, uh, X Theory Wear, so some of the stuff that we've helped inspire or some of the stuff that uh, our team over at Creator Inc. has worked on, that is all available. Uh, some of them are right below this video, uh, as well as via the link down in the description. Uh, it's really high quality stuff. A lot of people have gotten theirs already for the holidays. Uh, we're selling out of a lot of items, so just so you're aware, this thing is fantastic. It's it's a little bit on the expensive side, but the quality of it is is better than stuff that you get in a store. It's amazing. Um, it's a little flashier than I think a lot of people are used to wearing, but it's it's a great jacket. I've gotten a lot of compliments on it. Um, and just this whole collection, there's a lot of really good stuff. For winter, there's this really nice puffy jacket that is nice and warm for like the chilly weather, especially as we're entering winter. So give it a look. There's uh, Docco throughout his entire Security Beach Breach playthrough of the things I've seen. Um, he was wearing the Five Nights at Freddy's version of this, which is like a blue and pink, which is really cool. Uh, so really high quality stuff, uh, really nice things to give 
uh, to the theorist in your life or whatever. So that's available right now, uh, and it's all available to ship out in time. At this point, it's too late for Christmas because Christmas is a couple days away. Um, but, you know, for New Year's or for Christmas money or whatever, it's available, uh, and it's really good. I'm really happy with everything that turned out. Uh, so, that being said, Matt, do you have any de defense of your weird taste in leisure activities? Otherwise, I'm going to hop into tweaking this maze. I have nothing more to say. Great. Well, I'm, I'm sure you'll have a lot more to say as we continue as to explore them all. But let's let's hop into it. Um, so one thing that felt weird to me at the end of the last stream, and I played around with it a little after we cut the camera, because every like I said, I, and we might have cut it by by the end because I, I was kind of rambling towards the end. Um, but one thing that I I noticed in this game right is like when you do X, Freddy pretty explicitly tells you why right. And, rare, and we found a, an audio log here, or kind of an email log, in a bag in here that was like, hey, the next thing you need is in the underside of the theater. And so we went to the theater, got jump scared before we got a chance to fully explore it, so we'll, we'll be back there. But it felt weird to me that it felt like we had skipped a step, and I played around here, and I'm like, it feels like I should be able to interact with this thing, and then I get the key for it. But anywhere I stood, I couldn't... I couldn't activate it, but I played around a bit more, and apparently, apparently I have to get like this, it's it's a very touchy control, but if I'm like this close, and like at the exact angle, like he, here, I can do this, and this starts this. One of the staff bots brought the key to the Superstar Theater. The entrance is located in the daycare. Correct. So, I don't know if I was... Like, I don't know if we had actually not gotten jump scared at the end of the last episode, if we had been, if we would have been able to get that key anyway, or if we needed to do that story event in order to move things forward. So, I was playing around with it. It felt weird to me. That kind of confirmed my suspicion that we were missing something there, even though we kind of knew what we were supposed to do. It, there's an animatronic that's gonna jump scare me. I just really wanted to start today's episode with a jump scare. That's really what I'm looking for. Nope, 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 nope. I'm just gonna run into her. Just like, let's, let's put ourselves out of our misery there. Okay, uh, I can also hop into Freddy at some point. This is a mechanic that I haven't been using, and I probably should, which is the whole like, you're invisible inside of Freddy. Uh, now, I should probably use that, huh? That's kind of an important thing. That is kind of a key mechanic of the whole game. Who am I to use all the mechanics of the game, though? Um, I'm one of those guys in video games, you should know this by now, who really preserves my items. And to me, a limited-use Freddy-like invisibility cloak, which is kind of what I've been associating with this entire time. You know, he has a very narrow window in which you can use him. And also, before his battery dies, and also it's one of those things where... I, it's unclear how long each hour is because there is no it's driven by story events not by actual time and so for me I'm kind of paranoid about using him at certain points because it's like well I don't know what's coming in this chapter in this hour of gameplay so maybe I need to hold on to him in case I really need him later for a really hard section or something so that's been kind of my hesitation about using Freddy because what if, what if I use him early in the hour for a section that I think is hard, and then all of a sudden he's not available to me? That I can't let I can't let people leave me in life like that. That's that hurts. I have I have abandonment issues, Matt. I don't know if you recognize this. I need him there for me. Every day we learn something new about you. I am a many faceted character. What can I say? Like I'm I'm a I'm a multi cut diamond. Look, look at look at me in every way you you look. I sparkle in a different light. I just sparkle in a different way, Matt. Always, always, always. Okay, so we're back at the theater, or uh, we're back at the daycare. I am curious. This is this is just for me. Uh, I'm gonna do new safe slot. New slot. There we go. I'm curious if we try to get back into the daycare, because at the end of the daycare sequence, he's like, you're eliminated, you cannot come back here. Security alert! Security alert! Huh. huh. That's wild. So, really, once you're booted out of there, you're booted out. So, one of the nice things about having to restart the entire game, look for the silver lining, 
One of the nice things about having to restart the entire game is the fact that I found the flashlight upgrade that was hidden in the daycare that you guys were trying to tell me about. Um, so, yeah, poop. well, now we're, now, we're, now we're just kind of busted. See, this would be a time to use Freddy, you see. This would be a time where I would use Freddy, but I'm not going to because I'm stubborn. Well, now I probably should because now I've been held against my will. Oh! Yeah. Here he comes. Alright, that's fine. Uh, that was just me being sloppy and fast. That's my middle name. Sloppy and fast. Matthew Sloppy Fast Matt Pat. Matt. <laughs> Matt, Matt Pat. Matt Pat. Yeah, that's did, you didn't know that, did you? Last name Matt Pat. People call me by my last name Matthew Matt Pat. It's terrible. Matthew Matt Pat Matt Pat. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah, it's both my nickname and my last name. It's very strange. It's an odd naming mechanism for my parents at that point. Uh, okay, real quick, there was. I think we found it, and then we got jump scared. There was something in here, wasn't there? It was just a plushie, though. It's not worth it. Matt, focus on Matt Pat. Matthew, Matt Pat, Matt Pat. <laughs> focus! Matt Pat, Pat's a Matt Pat. Come on. Go back. Go back. Ooh. There we go. We're just going to beeline into the theater. Because ain't nobody got time for this. Dalko's been done with this game for a week. People have been waiting for this theory that's apparently coming out for more than a day. The game has been out for, for a day? And there's no theory about it? What am I doing? I am slacking off hardcore, clearly. Um, all right, watch out for this guy. Wait for him, wait for him. There we go. Bada bing, bada boom. Okay, so the one thing I did want to get was back here, because I remember this was up here. Yeah, so if I can get this, this would be great. Mm. Oh, oh, I can just collect from there. Yeah! I didn't even have to jump and use awkward geometry this time. Pretty mass. Perfect. Okay. And we also have the camera. So we haven't had to use the camera yet. It probably makes... There's a charger right here. Let me see what this does, actually. So it's supposed to... Stun him? Is this him being stunned now? No. Well, maybe I need to get closer to him? We'll see. Anyway, I gotta recharge it. Maybe I haven't quite mastered the nuances of using... Wait, I thought it was a recharge. Wait, is it in the recharge machine or the recharge station? Oh, no. It's the Freddy recharge machine? Oh, no. So I just wasted that. Oh. Wait, it just filled up. Was it time-based? Matt, didn't they say that this was dependent on... That is what they said. Right? Didn't they say it was dependent on the recharge machine? Okay, I'm gonna hop into Freddy because you know what? Ain't nobody got time for this. If, if this is the, if Freddy is the press L1 and win button, I'm gonna press L1 and win. Boom! I just won, and I'm saving his battery. Okay, so I got past. What is this? Captain Foxy, Captain Foxy's pirate adventure. I've seen um, some of these cutouts. I saw this guy. He was in the music rehearsal room. Uh, okay, here we go. I like that brand expansion, guys. He went back to no. So, so that's to the back of the theater. So, no, 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 no. Wait for you. Ooh, it's a little laggy back here. <laughs> too much activity. It's too exciting. All right. Did you get to go to the green room? Oh. Why do the robots have flashlights? Because <laughs> it's really expensive to equip, equip them with night vision goggles, man. Ah. Yeah, obviously. Sing only the approved Freddy Fazbear and Friends birthday song, no copyright infringing. Balloons, tableware, hats, chairs. Balloons, yes, no, one year old. Freddy Fazbear, There's, is there secrets on the back of this whiteboard? The blank. Only FP Freddy Fredbear. Wait, Fazbear? Fazbear, Freddy Fazbear, no. Keep expecting there to be something. Keep, an, uh, keep a close eye on the time, no ex no extra party. Keep on schedule. Okay. When the party is done, it's over. No extra party. We will not have any of that. Okay. So we're underneath the theater. What do we got down here? Oh, we've got... See, this is the thing I don't get. Is this for the animatronics or are people dressed as the... 
I would love to see people dressed as the animatronics, like in big mascot suits. I know we have the spring lock suits, but those just feel like, oh. <laughs> okay. All right, these guys are going to come to life at some point, aren't they? Great. But I'd love to see just, like, mascots of them, the big, like, floppy mascot outfits in, in terms of Freddy. Mazer size instructions. Move blue to the corner. You should be able to work it out from there. Okay. Thank you for teaching me the solution to the puzzle. Resident Evil puzzle this is not. Okay. What do we got going on? So these guys are definitely going to come to life. And there's... Wow, there's a lot of them. Hmm... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is this a time traveling ball pit? If I hop into this ball pit, will it transport me through time to a different iteration of this franchise? Wait, is that ball pit? Are these just deflated balls at this point? Weird. Matt, you're obviously familiar with the lore of the, the time traveling ball pit. I was gonna say, surely that is a thing in one of the books. It is, actually. Right. It's, it's in... It's in multiple of the books, actually. Oh. It, is, it is a very strongly canonical thing at this point. Which, you know, time travel ball pit is not something that you're like, they're going to lean in heavy onto this one. But no, they, they do. They, they go all out. They're like, oh yeah, if you hop into the ball pit and sink down into it, you can teleport between the different victims, basically, of this franchise and their stories. That's neat. It's, a, yeah, it's, it's cool. It's, a, it's an odd choice, you know. It hasn't been it hasn't been solidified by any games yet, but you know, give it time, they'll they'll get there. I have no doubt. Uh, so I'm looking for presumably a present. They said it was kind of associated with. They said it was associated with one of the animatronics. So I'm assuming it might be near one of the endoskeletons, or in one of these backstage areas. This little pass. We will see. I'm also confused as to who this whole, whole dressing section is for. Is this for Freddy Fazbear performers? Like, are they are they pretending to be the animatronic? Like, are these dressing stations for the endoskeletons who are dressing as characters? No, okay. Who are dressing as characters? What is going on? Oh, there's the safe spot. Okay. What do we got? Ooh, hello. Oh, hey. It's one of those pirate foxy things. There's an eel. Cool cutouts. All right. Okay. So, this means that <laughs> this means that all those things are going to come to life as soon as I open that box. So, uh, uh okay. And this is to get to the maze, right? The maze or size control key. Okay. The maser size controls move the wall. Okay, and access to this. Mission. Okay, use maser size controls. Okay, to access to it. Hello. You're gonna come to life, aren't you? Oh yeah. Oh, they. De ooh, 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 ooh. Oh my gosh! There's a lot of them. Oh, okay. Oh. Okay. Uh, ha 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 ha. Hmm. Hmm. Hmm, this is a tricky balancing act, isn't it? What? Here, let's try the camera. Maybe this will work for them. Oh my gosh, it did! Oh, that is so cool! Okay, okay, yep, 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 great. Oh, that is very short, though. That is very short. I haven't been up here. What is up here? Is this another exit? It is not. It doesn't appear to be. Okay, but they're all walking up here now. Here, yeah, everyone, group, group around these stairs. That would be great if you could all just group around these stairs. That would be fantastic. Wait. Oh, that's just a light. That wall is very suspicious. I'm just throwing it out there. I don't know if it's a texture thing, if it's a lighting thing, or if this is like a secret hidden wall. But that wall feels very sus right now. Feels like there's secret stuff hidden behind that wall. Maybe you have to like do something with. Okay. Okay, all right, all right. Okay, so this was not maybe the best decision to go up here, but let's, can I hop? Oh no, and I can't hop over the bar. Shoot, I was hoping I could lure them all up here and then hop over the bar. Well, that doesn't seem to be the case. So, so if I flash him again. Okay, I flashed him, oh, okay. 
Okay, hold that. Okay, so they're all active again. Okay, hey, 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 red light. Or red light, green light. Okay, here we go. That guy's still up there. Hopefully my fast camera charges. Okay, bud. Okay, here we go. So what is gonna give me the best case of getting all of them all in one flash? How about here? Nope, here. How about, nope, oh hey, 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 you're getting real close, I don't like that. There we go, woo, and run, and run, and go, and go, and go, and go, and go. <laughs> that is so cool, that is so cool. No, no, no giant piggy bank of money for you. Get out of here. Can I flash you too? No. Are they going to still come up? <laughs> At this point, I do not want to do that again. So let's let's move on, shall we? I'm assuming they must be done. They're not coming back. Okay, here we go. So back to Mazer size. There's a lot of transitioning between stuff, isn't there? Here, Freddy, can you can you just can we hit the instant win button here? <laughs> win button activate. I'm really glad that the camera just self-charges, despite what the despite what the instructions said. Right? I'm not making that up. That was totally what the instructions told me. Recharge him at a charging station. Smile. Boom. Okay, here we go. Get out of here. Perfect. Oh yeah, that actually did really stall them. Nice. This is useful. I like the camera. The flashlight, get out. Get out of here. No one cares about you anymore. It is all about the faz cam. This is a win right here. Good choice, Matt. Matt was the one who encouraged us to go to faz cam rather than, uh, than laser tag. You're right. Mini golf is greater than laser tag. What would we have gotten? Faz Blaster? Faz Blaster. What do you think the diff what does that do? I'm assuming it's a, like, like a, gun? a gun, like a, I'm assuming it's like a laser tag gun that probably like stuns an individual person. Uh, but this is like mass stunning. Yeah. It seems like. What if they do the same thing? I don't know, right? I mean, it would feel kind of redundant, wouldn't it? Mm. Hey, here's one tool that allows you to stun a lot of things. Yeah. And here's another tool that allows you to stun one thing. You know, you choose. This one also comes with a nifty, like, light little flashlight on the front, too, so it's not altogether useless in the dark. Look at this. I said today we're gonna make it, we're gonna make progress. We're making progress. We're taking names, kicking butt, flying, flying through this. We're gonna beat it today. You know what we would have been doing? How do we play laser tag? What? Nothing. You're right. We would have been stuck. We would have been stuck. I, I honestly, I, I wonder if they would have sent you into that room with the laser tag stuff. Cause I, or maybe, maybe, maybe that laser gun, the phase, phase blaster is amazing. Mm. No. No. If I know about laser tag. If I, and, and believe me, he knows about <laughs> laser tag. If there are two things that Matt knows about, it is production yeah. and laser tag yep. and obscure indie music. So three things that Matt knows about. I know three things and three things only. Yeah, you know a little bit more, but maybe just not like well, the level I of expertise. That bears walk on four legs. That's true. He will teach you about the anatomy of a bear like nobody's <laughs> business. There is someone who I would turn to to teach me about basic bear anatomy. Yeah. It's this guy. Thanks, that means a lot. Yeah. No problem, man. Hey, you, you've earned it. You've earned it, Matt. It's the sort of knowledge that we instill here. Okay. So we're back. We're gonna. We're just gonna overwrite the save. I'm fine with that. Okay. So we've got this thing now. Let's see. How do I, what obscure angle do I need to approach it in? Do I push the button again? What do I do? What has this done? Okay. Defeat Monty and. De <laughs> That's a twist. Defeat Monty and take his claws. Okay. What is this doing? 
So it said move blue to the corner. And then you can solve the rest. Horizontal. Okay, so horizontal and vertical. What? What is this? What is this moving exactly? Yeah. And you have to pull the lever. You think so? Oh, maybe not. Oh, no, no. It's, it's, I think this switches it from vertical and horizontal. So, like, hey, now we're working on verticality. Okay, we got to... Nothing's happening on that screen. <laughs> oh, great. Welcome to this minigame. What has this done? Okay, so I just pushed everything to go vertical. These are different panels. Here, I'm just going to push everything vertical. Uh, what? Smile! So... There is a vent in this maze that leads yep. to the We've, we've gone through this, Freddy. I, believe there is I know, I know your memory is, is a little faulty somewhere. these days as you're getting up in the teeth. You're like, what, a six-year-old franchise at this point? Ooh. Okay, so this has blocked us. Somehow. Smile. Nope. Damn it. Hmm. Welcome to the part of the game that we're going to fast forward through, because... What is this doing? Nope, that was the same one twice. Okay, so it is moving it somehow. Like, you see how that changed? A little bit. Move blue into the corner. You should be able to figure out the rest, Matt. Move blue into the corner. You should be able to figure out the rest. Well, oh, that's still blocked. Oh, get out of here. You are garbage. <laughs> okay, so here's... What? What are we supposed to do? Oh, no, and there's G in here? Oh, there's the vent. Okay. So we need to move... This, this, whatever, however this thing functions. We need to get that out of here. But that's where the vent is. So the vent is in that corner. So we do know that. So we're flipping the vertical and, oh damn it, there's Chica. Oh good, she did not see me despite me running literally past her beak. That's fine, Chica's, Chica's distracted by all the food on the walls. She's like, I'm hungry. <laughs> Chica's having a rough day. Let's be honest, Chica's just as confused about this maze as we are. Chica's like, oh god, not another day in this thing. <laughs> Feels bad, man. Poor Chica. Oh, thanks. Thanks a lot. Thanks, thanks. Thanks, thanks, door. One. Smile. Oh! She has struggled us in it hard there. You'll never see me in here. No. Well, that's fine. Cool. Great. Totally fine with that. Not a big deal. It's not like we had made any progress. Okay. This is the part where we magically fast forward around as I fumble through the dark on this. Okay, so we need... Okay, so we need the whole back row right now to be horizontal? As opposed to vertical? I like how the other one was just Simon Says. Right? Kind of... I, I was exactly... I was gonna say the exact... Makes you long for the days of red, 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 red. You know, that was that was a good moment. The red, 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 red. Oh, we're so, I, I assume we are so close. We may or may not be very close to a solution here because there, there it is. Oh, oh, squeeze. Squeeze your tiny, small child body through there. Heave. Eat fewer burritos. Mazer size just a little bit more, Gregory. Heft your body over this thing. How about, how about the giant animatronic that I can wield? Can I have him smash through the the very thin wall here? 
please? Someone? Okay, that looks like it's open. So we were like one step away. So I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna say we got it. I'm gonna say, damn it! Are you kidding me? Right to get no. I'm saving this just in case. Save, 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 save. I do appreciate the the flash photography now gives me a chance to hide if I need to hide. Right, like presumably, she would not be able because they're like, oh, you can't hide when they're watching you. But now we can flash them and. Damn it! What? Gregory wanted more. Try harder, Gregory. So that panel needs to go away. You did not see me! You did not see me! You were stunned! Get bitter. Welcome to the episode where we make a lot of progress on this game, ladies and gentlemen. This is the episode where all the progress gets made. So much progress is getting made right now. Just put blue in the corner and you can figure it out from there, Matt. That was the, that was the pro tip I was given. Remember that time? Remember that little chestnut of wisdom that the game decided to give us for this puzzle? I mean, I think it makes perfect sense. Does it now? Yeah? Please, please, Matt. Please I mean, explain it to me. Why would it be a numbered system and not colored? Like, what does one through five mean? <laughs> and why isn't the bottom labeled? And also, why is like one vertical and one horizontal? I don't know. It's, I wish. What's the, isn't like, it's like 13 and up, right? This game. <laughs> Our brains are too old to understand this one. <laughs> right, cause on one hand I'm like, well maybe one through five is like the top, cause each door pivots on two angles. You know, you have one one part of the wall and one part of the wall and I'm like, oh, it's moving it horizontally. But, I, but no, it, 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 I don't get it. Welcome to random button pressing and switching the the mini game. I think we found your theory. <laughs> this is it. This is it. Forget is Gregory actually a robot? Forget who is Vanny? Forget what the you know ending explained or whatever is. It's how to actually solve the damn pizza maze, the Chica Mazer size game. That's it. You're right. This is it. If anyone can solve this, they're literally blessed in rocket science. Give this person a graduate degree. You move blue into the corner and the rest is obvious, Matt. <laughs> what? What is... So, okay, looking at this, I would think door number one against the wall, door number two, door number three. What did that do? That did nothing for me. This did nothing for me. It's looking very dense in, in the camera right now, and still nothing is really helping me out. I want to try and solve it. Like, I want to actually solve it. I, I just don't get it, man. Why is that wall not leaving? Do I need to push it to the right? Chunk two to go right. What makes you think that's chunk two? I, it's, you would think that it's either chunk one or chunk two, right? Why? Because it's the first, like, from left to right of the maze. Oh. Like, if I, and one, if this is what I'm seeing, it's one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So to me, this is chunk one. But clearly, I can't move anything away from, I can't move anything from that vent to save my life right now. All right, so after that little frustrating montage, let, let me catch you up on what's been going on down here. Uh, we took a little break. We played around a little bit longer off camera, and we got nowhere. As far as I can tell, this puzzle works in terms of rows. Uh, so you'll see that as you kind of chunk things down and up, we were right that there were chunks, but I was thinking them as discrete units. They're actually functioning in rows, as far as I understand it. And you're shifting entire rows down and entire rows up, and shifting them left and to the right. So it's confusing, especially when you don't see the entirety of what the board looks like. Um, so we pressed buttons at random for a really long time and got nowhere. Uh, so I took a break from the game, I reloaded the game, and couldn't get the maze to function because I guess if you have saved after you've started adjusting the maze, I, I don't know if this is a glitch, but basically the screen where I would see what was going on was static. It just would not update, I couldn't reinsert the card to start things again. 
So I'm like, oh darn, <laughs> I've frozen the game again, because that's great. Uh, but luckily, luckily I learned from like the last three times that this has happened in the game, and I've been saving in new save slots all the time, and so I have like four save slots, all in just Mazer size alone, and one of them, praise be, one of them was actually before we started adjusting the maze. That one still functioned, it worked. And so, you know what? We gave up and looked at an online tutorial, and thankfully, it is not a randomized puzzle. There are steps online that take you through the exact series of button presses that you need in order to get to the end, so that's what we did. And then we read about how sometimes the vent won't let you get in. But we double-checked and the vent will let us get in. So I think we are currently at a place. I I'd love to say that I solved this for myself. I did not. I spent a lot of time trying to solve it. We spent a lot of time figuring out the mechanics. But uh, at a certain point, we're like, we, we, we just got to move along. <laughs> like, it doesn't make sense. Um, so I'm not lying to you. We definitely took an online tutorial for this one. But uh, now we're there and we're ready to move forward. Yeah, Matt? We're ready. Feel good about where we're at? I feel... <laughs> good good as a qualifier but we do feel something mostly dead inside let's continue on with the story shall we uh all right so here's the event so we got through the mazer size in and when i say there's a an online tutorial taking you through the button steps that you have to it's not an obvious one right matt it's it's literally like flip the switch down press this one three times flip the switch up press this one once flip the switch down press this one two times flip the switch up like it is a complicated series of button presses and also i don't know exactly what they were talking about when it comes to like put blue in the corner because at least the final solution that apparently the internet has just uh, con just descended upon right i'm seeing a lot of orange green and cyan in the corner so i don't know man i don't know anyway we're here thankfully let's let's hope we don't get killed by a music man jump scare because i'm assuming that's what's going to happen every time we enter a vent so matt hey do you feel like a good puzzle solver after that one not at all <laughs> <laughs> uh, no it's truly random i uh, uh, shout There's... out to whoever figured that out because i never would have all right, so here we go. We got a save spot now. Ha! Oh! Right, shout. I don't know who was the first one to solve it. Congratulations, the internet thanks you. Otherwise, every I feel like every let's play will have just stopped in its tracks right there. All right, so what do we got? Ooh, we've got a little little game here. Ooh, hello. Oh, I can shoot Monty targets. Oh, finally we get a mini game. Oh, sweet. Oh, this is... Okay, we get... We're finally playing some games here. How do you feel about launching balls at targets, Matt? I feel great. It's it... very American Gladiator. Am I hitting stuff here? It seems... Is that me hitting it? It's unclear. No, you're definitely not hitting it. No? You gotta shoot higher. It you're looks... Not, like... You're not accounting for arc. It, it's flashing though. It was flashing every time. Okay. Oh, it, it thankfully it reloads very slowly, one at a time. So, can I hop into this thing? What is that thing? What? What is this? Okay. So this whole time I was supposed to get here, and now what? And now what I was supposed to do? Okay. So at this point. I, I expected to get through the vents, and then they would tell me, like, hey, this is the next thing that's going to happen. But, missions. Defeat Monty and take his claws. Okay, we used Mazer Size controls. Okay, so we're, oh, we get to fight Monty now? So it's a, bo it's a boss battle with Monty? Yes? Maybe? Maybe I need to hit stuff here to activate it? I mean, these are the only two things that I'm seeing, so let me hit these, I guess. Maybe I have to hit the far one first? Nope. Oh, oh, hey, there we go. Fill splash bucket. Hello. Oh, geez, these things go fast. Fill splash bucket. Oh, hello. Yeah! Oh, there we go. Yes! Let's do it! Boss battle time. 
Let's steal some claws! Oh, you, you, bro you broke it, man. There's already enough broken in this game. Let's be honest. That's uncalled for, Monkey. Okay, so he's coming at me all slowly. Okay, so what do I have to do? So he's slowly pursuing me. And I have to fill a splash bucket? Hole in her. Okay, here, let's let's look at context clues, shall we? What do we got going on? Wait, where's he at? Oh, there he is. Hole in one hurricane. Splash bucket. Okay, so I'm assuming I need to fill that bucket with balls. Am I filling a bucket with balls? Oh, hello. Can I hit you with balls? Should I be hitting you with balls? I'm just curious. Can I hit you with balls? Maybe not. Okay. Was he anywhere close to me? He was. Oh, was he? Okay. Yeah, no, he was right there. Okay. I would assume that it's like one of those squirt gun games. You know where you fill the balloon with water? Right, right. So I gotta fill the bucket with balls? Shoot at that little target. Shoot at that little target. Okay. What little target? What? These little targets? Or no, the, 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 one the big the bucket, right? Yeah. So when I hit this one, it doesn't really... Like, that one's definitely being hit. It seems like this one is... Either you, I'm hitting both of them, and that one just doesn't... Weird, that one just doesn't have a reaction, it seems like. Okay. So we gotta get to the bucket. Alright. Monty! Fill Splash Bucket. Here we go. Boss time! First ever official boss battle in a Five Nights at Freddy's game. Although I will say I feel like Ennard and Custom Knight felt like a boss battle because it was just like all on him. Um, rock and roll. Rock and roll. And remember, the camera does not work on him, so. Hey, little guy. Okay, so how do I know where he's at? at Presumably, I, I hear him, right? This is a good position for this one, I feel like. Okay, we... Okay, there he is. So we're gonna wanna move. That is, a, that is a good position, though. That is just, like, easy money right there. That is point ball, point gun and win. Did you just break that? You better not just broke my easy win. But... Look at how gentle he's being, though. He's being so nice. I love that in all other parts of the game he is so aggressively fast. And here it's like, oh, we're, we're okay. No, we're just gonna slowly creep around. We're all good. Oh man! <laughs> They're like, that, that one was too easy. Uh, where's another one? Here's one! And that seems to be far away from him on the course. Let's just, let's just do it from here. From downtown! Arc. There it is. Fill that splash bucket. There's Monty. Oh, he's, he's coming around. Where are you going, bud? Going that way? Oh, hello. Oh. Oh no, his leg's caught! <laughs> <laughs> And that's why animatronics shouldn't fall from high places, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Monty, looks like uh, he might be having. Can I just steal his claws from this direction? Feel like he might be. <laughs> oh no! Here, take a picture of the last longer. Boom! <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't be. I shouldn't be making fun of a poor animatronic when he's down. That's what you get. Gravity! Gravity just dunked on you hard, Monty. I'm sorry, bud. There we go. Oh, wait, he's back. Wait. Dude, dude, you were caught. Last I saw you, you were caught in the catwalk. Unacceptable. Okay, it seems like we're really close. Hello. 
Where's he at? Where's he at? Where's he at? No, really, though. Where are you at? I'd love to get a visual confirmation. I'd love to get a visual confirmation as to where he is. I'm very nervous about the fact that I keep hearing, like, this, the jump scare sound. Okay, well, okay, this way. Nope! 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 Big run! Where's he at? Doesn't seem to be around me. Okay, what now? Dump a splash bucket. And I do that by a what? <laughs> Dump it! Obviously! Dump the splash bucket! Steal his claws! This all makes perfect sense! There it is. The button! Knock it! Oh yeah! Oh! Oh, Monty! Oh! Oh! Oh, we just decimated him! Oh! <gasps> Those are sweet kicks, by the way. My shoes. <laughs> I love that shot of the shoes. Collect Monty's claws. <gasps> oh, I feel kind of bad about this. Again, he's never really been particularly mean or aggressive to us. Oh, he is. Oh, he is ripped in half! <gasps> oh, Monty. Oh no! Also, his body has disappeared! <laughs> Claw no evil. <laughs> I, I didn't just steal- I didn't just steal his claws. I literally ripped out the rest of his body, apparently. Wow! Oh, that was aggressively violent. <gasps> oh, I kind of feel bad for him. I'm also shocked that he was like the first one to go. I thought for sure it'd be like Chica who was introduced really early on. So I've got these claws, now what? I gotta attach them to Freddy? <gasps> wow. Wow, what a fight. That was fun. It was a little mini game. We finally got to play a mini game. Cool. But, but now the, the challenge is how to get out from this. <laughs> how, to, how to leave the stage. Oh, there it is. Crazy, Matt! It's crazy! We did something in this game! We did it! We did something <laughs> in the game! We made some level of progress! This is the best I felt playing this game. <laughs> I feel accomplished. Got to make fun of some of the glitchiness. Yeah. Got to tear an animatronic to shreds. That was a real working boss battle. It was! Yeah. Like, it, it, it actually functioned! <laughs> and we beat him! Yeah. There was a mechanic. There was. It, it worked. And it made sense. It did. Yeah. And, and we that'll... dumped a barrel of balls yeah. on the animatronic. And stole his hands. We did, and, it, and now we have his hands. Is Freddy getting claws? Yes. Cool. Which, which I don't know how I feel about no, that. I, I, cool. I feel like we're building Springtrap. I feel like we're building some sort of like, th this, is not a, this is not a good situation. Life and Frankenstein stories have told me over the years, that when you're taking parts from other things and using them to compile, like, a giant monster, that's not, that's not a win. Especially when he's suspiciously helping us. But he's on our side. Is he, though? Mm. Is he, mm. Matt? Ask yourself that question. So now we gotta find a way back to parts and services, which... Who, who, who knows how to get there? Okay. Wow! Man, and all it took was us cheaping out on, on Mazer size. Okay, so now is he just out of commission? Like, is he no longer a jump scare in this game? He seemed pretty out of commission. R right? I mean, he was ripped in half. Yeah. And then, not only was he ripped in half, but then he disappeared when we stole his... Like, he has no claws left? What is he going to do? I guess he could bite our ankles. <laughs> a little ankle biter, I suppose. <laughs> but, like, I mean, at this point, he feels pretty decimated. Yeah, there's really no coming back from that. No, that was a brutal, brutal death. Uh, here, I'm gonna save it, and I feel like this is a good place to kind of stop, right? I would agree. Did we do enough in this episode, Matt? What do you think? 
I mean, we did more in this episode than we have <laughs> in a long time. I'll have you know, I escaped the endoskeleton basement very quickly. <laughs> uh, I have seen people telling us in the comments, though, that while we cannot play mini golf, apparently there is a mini golf arcade game around here somewhere. Whoa. So we might want to look out for that. Okay. That is a thing. But nice. yeah, I feel like that is a good climactic moment to end this on. We did something! And we accomplished it! And it was great! Yes! <laughs> Thankfully. Hopefully there's more of that in the future. Who knows? Roxanne Wolf, we're coming for you next, I guess. I don't know. What are you more excited about? Voice box or secret eyes? <laughs> I don't know. This game is so weird. It, you, you know, <laughs> it's a weird franchise. Weird franchise. But hey, you know what? We're conquering it. We might not be the king of Five Nights. We're like the jester of Five Nights at Freddy's. <laughs> not the king, not the queen. Jester. The jester of Five Nights at Freddy's. That's me. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being patient with us as we slowly crawl our way through this game. Like Monty, apparently, is going to be crawling from this point forward. Uh, hey, who knows? Maybe next time we'll have another boss battle. Yeehaw! We're making progress. We'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. And remember, it wasn't a live stream, but it was a video. A video for you. See ya!